Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that my hair is a little messy. Um, I haven't really posted a video in like a little over two days. I've just been so busy with um, my nephew's birthday party this past weekend. Uh, this almost past weekend now. Um, it was a good time. And pretty much I am finally returning to you for the Usher Coming Home album review that you guys have been anticipating that and waiting for from me to review it so i'm going to discuss what i listened to for all 20 songs which is an hour and almost seven minutes of an album and let you know my thoughts on each track as i go through the track list and give you a breakdown of what i think of each song so let's dive right into this uh album review now it starts with the title track coming home featuring burna boy i actually like this track um pretty catchy beat i mean lyrics are hit or miss but i think usher made it sound good with the overall melody and i really could dig this track so this is a pretty good song five out of five good good is a 4.75 out of five for me it's pretty good but in its own way but there are some critiques i have with the song with how it's sounding overall but vocally, it's not bad from Usher and Summer Walker. And 21 Savage is eh, meh in the track. He's alright in the song, but I don't really personally listen to his music too much, and I don't really care to. And give me a second, guys. I gotta pause the video. Sorry about that, guys. My mom was calling me for a brief second. Um... But yeah, uh, Good Good's getting a 4.75 out of 5 for this track. A-Town Girl is decent. I don't hate this song. It's above decent in a way. But I think it's a copycat of uh, Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. And they add a sample to it at the beginning of the track. And I'm just like, Usher, uh, sure. why'd you have to do that? You better have gotten permission for that shit, or you know Billy Joel will sue, will sue you, for sure. <laughs> I mean, the song was catchy, but Lotto's vocals, Lato's vocals, or however you pronounce her name, um, Lato vocals or whatever. Uh, her vocals were, and her rapping was kind of meh, but overall the track is uh. Alright, so I'd give it a 4.25 out of 5. Then comes Cold Blooded featuring The Dream. That was kind of disappointing in a way. Um, I'd give it a 2.75 out of 5. I, I was liking some moments in the track, but the way Usher was doing the I feel like I'm a game and kind of the way he was singing that, it, it sounded cringy and... The dream didn't even sound good in this song. I was very disappointed in the featured artist than Usher. Usher was kind of mid in this track. He had his good points and his weak points with his vocals and how he was singing the track. And just there were some execution flaws with the song and it didn't execute too well. 2.75 out of 5. Kissing Strangers is actually a pretty good song. In its own way, I'd give it a 4.75 out of 5 for this one. I like Usher's vocals in this track, and the beat's pretty catchy. So, really like it. Keep On Dancing is pretty good in its own way, too. That's another 4.75 out of 5 for me. As a regular song, it did sound pretty good um, in its own way. Um, there were a few critiques, but other than that, pretty good stuff. Sorry about my yawning, I'm just, uh, I've had to get up early these past few days, and I've been so mentally drained, too, because of certain things. But yeah, Keep On Dancing, 4.75 out of 5. Risk It All, featuring her, is a pretty good song in its own way, too. It's mellow, and it sounds nice with her and Usher singing together. So this is a 4.75 out of 5. Bop is a... All right, track. I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. There are some moments where I think it's all right, and there are good moments, but there are some weak critiques I have with this track. So 4.5 out of 5.
Stone Cold Freak actually sounded pretty good. I actually did dig this track. This is a 5 out of 5 for me. I really like the beat to it and how Usher is singing it from time to time. Sounds pretty good. Ruin featuring Fells um, is a 4.75 out of 5. It's pretty melodic and mellow and the lyrics are hit or miss. But overall, this track... It was pretty good in its own way, so 4.75 out of 5. Big is a alright song. I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. There are some moments in the track where Usher's vocals hit its range at a good part, and then there's some critiques I have with how the overall execution of the track is sounding. So yeah, 4.5 out of 5. On the side is a 4.5 out of 5 as well. Um, it's not bad, just... It's a little mediocre in a way with how it's sounding. So yeah, 4.5 out of 5. I don't really got much to say on it. It's just one of those regular tracks that you can easily breeze through. And they kind of feel dull in a way, but it's not bad with how it sounds. I am the party. Oh, excuse my yawning. Uh, I am the party is a alright song. Uh, just... The melodies hit or miss with how it sounds and just Usher's vocals from time to time and how he's singing the lyrics. It has its hits and misses too. So 4.5 out of 5. I Love You was a solid track in its own way. So that's another 4.5 out of 5. Uh, it's not a terrible track. Just fine for what it is. Um... Then Please You is another solid track, another 4.5 out of 5. It's only like almost three minutes of a song, but it does kind of get the job done in a way. But there are critiques I have with this song, um, with how it's sounding and how Usher is singing it from time to time. Luckiest Man uh, is solid for what it is, but there are some critiques I have with it, like... Just the melody and how it's executing and the pacing of the track and its execution is kind of the highlight and somewhat of the uh, critique in a way. <laughs> so 4.5 out of 5. Margella is a above decent track. I don't really have any gripes with the song, but there are a few gripes with how Usher is singing it and... How he's singing, rapping in a way that I don't know if I could feel for. But overall, it's going to get a 4.25 out of 5. Ugh. Excuse my yawning. Ugh, I am so sorry. I'm just tiring morning or afternoon, I guess you could say. Room in a Room is a pretty good song in its own way. I did like the melody and how Usher was singing it, but I did have a few gripes with it, uh, with some of the melody's execution. So, 4.75 out of 5. One of them ones is the second to last song on the record, and it's solid. Uh, not anything special, but I dig it in a way, so 4.5 out of 5. Standing Next to You, Usher Remix featuring Jungkook. Uh, I believe a BTS member. Um, I think this song actually sounded pretty good in its own way. Uh, the melody is pretty catchy. It sounds like disco kind of music, but it sounds pretty nice, and I really dig it. So this is a 4.75 out of 5. I have a few critiques with Jungkook, how he's singing it, but overall Usher sounded really good in this track with his vocals. So overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I found myself thinking that Usher's Coming Home album was decent. Not anything to write home about. There are some strong tracks and strong songs, but I think Cold-Blooded was the weakest. Uh, I didn't like that one. I don't know, the melody was off. The way the Dream was singing it and rapping it didn't really execute too well. And just overall... Uh, that song was a miss for me. But everything else was above decent to average. Well, above decent to 
solid and pretty good in its own way and pretty strong too. The rest of the tracks were not so bad in their own way, but overall, if I were to give Usher's new record a score, I'm going to give Coming Home a 7 out of 10. This is a decent record, not anything that I would say would be on my best albums of 2024, but uh, I would say that I like Usher's music, I still do to this day, but there are a few critiques with certain songs he makes that I don't know if I can get behind. Um, there's some hit or miss tracks that he has nowadays. Like when he did the Looking For Myself album and Raymond vs. Raymond, that was his best work. I think there was Hard To Love after that. and th Those songs on Hard To Love were not terrible, but they weren't the best like make you a believer was one that i wasn't sure if i was liking it wasn't terrible it just was like mid but overall this record has some strong tracks but it has a weak one a few weak ones too like the ones that are under 4.5 out of 5 are slightly the weak ones so with that being said 7 out of 10 for usher coming home for his new album thank you for watching this album review this afternoon